Hello, I'm Dr. Julian Sampson, and I have a very special interest in TSC. Now I'd like to share some of my experience of the disease with you, from my point of view. There are specific genetic mutations that can cause TSC, which occur in the TSC1 or TSC2 genes. Mutations of TSC1 can occur on chromosome 9, and mutations of TSC2 can occur in chromosome 16. In about two-thirds of cases, TSC will be the result of a new mutation, and there won't be any history of TSC in other family members. In the other third, TSC is inherited from an affected parent, and may affect other family members as well. Overall, in clinically identified individuals, mutations in TSC2 are more common, although it seems that some people with TSC1 mutations are not diagnosed with TSC because it presents as a mild or less severe disease. Depending on the mutation, there are quantitative differences in how TSC is expressed. In TSC patients overall, the frequency of TSC2 mutations exceeds that of TSC1. And TSC symptoms are more severe in patients with TSC2 mutations. There's a subset of patients with TSC2 deletions that also involve the adjacent PKD1 gene, and they have more severe kidney disease. TSC2 mutations are associated with a more severe clinical disease, such as severe seizures, a greater risk of intellectual disability, and severe skin lesions. Somatic mosaicism, which refers to two or more genetically different cell lines within the cells of a person's body, plays an important role in TSC. In fact, it's been linked to disease severity in relation to TSC2 PKD1 gene deletions. Studies have shown that patients with mosaicism for these large deletions were more mildly affected. That means they were less likely to develop kidney failure than patients without mosaicism. Genetic modifiers, which are genes that modify the effect of another gene, may also make a difference in TSC, as people with the same mutation can show different disease manifestations and severity. Environmental factors and chance are also likely to be important. However, more studies need to be conducted to confirm this and to identify what these factors are. Interestingly, some patients who meet clinical criteria for TSC don't have identifiable mutations in TSC1 or TSC2. This discrepancy may reflect the level of genetic investigation that's done. There are several possibilities for what's going on in these patients. There may be low-level mosaicism, and there may be mutations outside of the TSC1 and TSC2 gene coding sequences that affect genetic expression, as well as other types of mutations. However, there's no current evidence to support this.